Hello everyone, uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can uh, push a record into uh, multiple forms. Um, sometimes uh, our viewers have um, the need to push a record into different places. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I have a form here, let's see, add a record. And I'm just going to put name and email. And we'll play with this. And then I'm going to create another form that is going to be at record two, just so that we, you know, are able to, you know, make sure that we know that this is the form number two. Okay. So I created the other form and it's going to have the same, just name and email. Perfect. So now, let me see, if I go to sections in data, okay, here it is. I have, you know, add record one and add record two. All right, perfect. So, <clears throat> What we need to do is you want to push data over from at record one into at record two. So all you need to do is either, um, if you want to push it over on creation, you can go to on add on success. And all you need to do is use the function at record then you can put a name this is optional but it comes handy if you want to manipulate the data that you're pushing over to the other form for any additional updates so i will just say uh, add data to and then i'm gonna select we're inserting a record in the form number two right and then on the email we're going to push the email that we have in this form. So it's input email and the name, it's going to be input name. And if you were to have additional fields, all those fields would show up here. Now that's the only piece of uh, code that you need to push these two fields over into the other form. Now, uh, this is one way to do it. You can also do it, uh, let's say, every time that you update the record. So in that case, you go to on edit on success. But first, you need to make, since this is an update, you want to make sure that uh, the existing record is removed. So you go to add record. You want to delete the records and then let's see uh, you're gonna specify the criteria to remove this record so the email has to match these are the fields from the form number two so the email has to match the input email that I'm using. So then it's going to remove that. And then all you need to do is add the record again. So it removes the record and then adds it again. Um, and that should work in there. And that's it. That's all you need to do to push a record from one form into another. Now, you could also create a function in which, uh, let's see, I'm going to create a new function here. Let's call it add a record. And I'm going to name this space um, functions. So what you want to do first is pulling the ID of form number one. So ID, form ID, the integer, 
And with this, uh, <clears throat> you can fetch the record. This is at record one from at record one. So the ID is going to be the numeric variable that I'm pushing over, right? And once I have this, I can then add a record, a record two to number two. And then instead of having input email, like the form itself, now I have to pull the, the data from this one that I'm fetching here. So you can also update the name. And this would be the function that you can now place anywhere in the form. Um, so uh, let's go back to the form and let's say instead of adding this record you could also call the function functions add a record then it's going to ask you for the id you just go to the id of the form and these two things are the same this would be direct script and this would be script be a function. I prefer the second one because this can be added anywhere without you having to type up the script directly in the form. Um, but you know either or would work. So let's give it a test. So I'm gonna test the function. So I'm gonna disable the script here. I'm gonna keep just the function call. I'm going to enter the record, access the application. Let's see, name Francisco, creator scripts at Gmail, submit. So if I go to the record view, uh, okay, let's show the values because there's nothing on the, on the view. So I need to show the name and the email. And I'm going to do the same for view number two. Name and email. OK, got it. So now take a look. We have uh, mm. Yeah, okay, it doesn't seem to have worked. I mean, we have a record there, but there's nothing in there. So let's see what happened. Now, if I edit the record, would this work? Okay, there it is. So the first one didn't work somehow. Let's try another one. Let's see. So Joe Blow. Uh, let's do Joe Blow at hotmail.com. Submit. So the second record is there. If I go to the other report, it's creating the record, but nothing is pushing through. So that means that our function is not working. So we need to go back and check. Let's see, what did we do wrong? So the function for adding a record, let's see. Uh, okay, ID equals no, no. So this is wrong. It's ID equals input FID. Yeah, so we're pulling, yeah, we had a wrong script there. Okay, so now it's gonna work, perfect. So I can check it again, let's test it. Let's add a new, um, let's see, Bruce Wayne from Wayne 
at gmail.com submit Bruce Wayne and then on the second table Bruce Wayne there it is you see so now it's working and that's how you push one record from one form into another okay now if you go to C5 you're gonna be able to I'm gonna try the new builder here um, so where do you check all these functions so it's pretty simple you have to go to the workflow and then look for your forms you know the form is add, a, add record right so on create or edit you have multiple actions that we created and uh, for the function I need to go to create there is already execute without condition on success and that's gonna pull the script that you were previously looking at here is the call of the function now if you want to check the function itself uh, then you need to go to settings and then go to the extension custom functions it's gonna list all the functions that you have available including the function to add a record and then you can make the modifications in here so you use the settings uh, and then custom functions to build your functions and you add them to your workflow via the forms that you have in C5 okay I hope this helps uh, let me know if you have any other question take care guys don't forget to share like and visit the website um, for additional script tips um, let me know if you need help with any other development requirements that you may have for Soho. Okay, take care.